Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a new guest in the building, you know what I'm saying? My guy, you know what I'm saying, from the low end, you know, come to talk his talk, you know what I'm saying, drop some wisdom, you know what I'm saying, some history and some facts, you know what I'm saying. But enough of me talking my talk. Won't you let them know, man, who you is and where you from? My name White Folks. I'm from the low. Um, I was plugged back in 19, uh, I got plugged 1986, 1980, sorry, 1980 back in 4950 with Junior and uh, Miko and Blue and all them. Okay, you said you got plugged back in back in 1986? No, no, 1980. That was, that, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. In 1980? Yeah, 1980. Okay. okay, okay. You from the real old school. You stay down there on the low end, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I wind up going to the joint in 87 when I got out. Um, I, w I got plugged in Stayway because at that time my OG was living down in 3833, South Federal. Okay. Down in Stayway. So I got plugged with the guys uh, from Seatown. Okay, who's some of the guys out there you do? Um, Bird, uh, give me one second. Bird, um, Bird was the LC, um, TV, um, Big Bra, Swan. It was a lot of brothers down there, you know? Okay. So tell me, what was it like down there? Um, it was Gucci as long as you was uh with the program. You know what I'm saying? And no motherfucker fuck with you if if uh you don't fuck with nobody, nobody fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? If there was a beef with anybody, it was dealt with one on one back then. Right, right, you right. know, um. But I know originally when I first got plugged, the BDs and GDs was as one, you know. Um, and the first BD I ever met was uh, Mickey Bull down at 4950. You know, um, I'm sorry to hear about that brother passing. Um, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say. Uh, he deserved that, in my words. So, uh, because he's a real motherfucker. You ever meet Mickey Bull? Yeah, I, he took me on his wing. Oh, so you know him personally? The first one that put me. Yeah, I know him. I know him personally. He took me on his wing. He was yeah, the first Mickey brother that ever. Huh? Hey, Mickey Bull story. What story? Y'all, y'all out doing kicking in a story. You know any story you can give me, Mickey Bull? Well, he was the first brother that ever put me on. You know, back in the day. So between me and him, we always hung out. You know what I'm saying? And Shorty, I was in the joint with Shorty. Shorty who? Um, give me one second. Uh, Freeman, Shorty Freeman. Oh, okay, okay, all right. You Too know. Bad. You know, it's been over like 30 years that I had to bring any of these names up. So um, that's why I'm saying give me a second, try and regulate what I know. Right. I get you. I get you. I get it. I get it. So look, tell me this, though. You being a white boy in the 80s on the low end, how was that for you? How how was the Blacks' acceptance to a white guy. Was there more white people in the eighties down in the low end? No, I was the only one. He was the only one. I was the and, only and one besides think... them uh the popos. Police. They beside the popo. A... Okay. Yeah, we always we always did keep us one token white guy in the community all in. Every community got that one token white guy. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? He said the eighties, you know. So Right. So tell me about your parents. Where your parents come from? 
Well, I don't know my pops, but my mom, she just recently passed away. Um, and we fell on hard times. We did live over by 26 and Cal, uh, in the row houses over there. And I think it's Londale or something like that. Uh, but we moved with my aunt Sadie over on 46 and, or in between 45th and 46 in Ben Sands. 45, 46 South Ben Sands. Right. I was a, I mean, I was a shorty back then. Shorty, shorty. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I met a lot of motherfuckers back then, and a lot of motherfuckers just took me on their wing. You know, my my stepdad, he was uh, a high supreme gangster. So, basically, I was brought up in it. He was actually in the jo- in Jolly- Joliet, or not Joliet, Pontiac, when the riots went on back Pontiac in the 70s. 70s. Right. Yeah. So he was one of the guy, one of the guys that got injured in in the ride, you know. Um, but he since then he's passed on, you know. Um, but yeah, everything I know, everybody I met was huh? Jumba, Jumba, Jumba. Okay. Everybody that I knew, I met through him, and that's how. Everybody grew to love me because I kept it real with everybody, and I was never fake. Yeah, do that. How long you live on the low end? Um, I say from the eighties to like eighty six. That's when I moved over on uh, by the manor on fiftieth and Vincent. Or not been saying, um, King Guy. Okay. So you've been all through the community, all through the hood, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I used to hang out in Ida B. Wells, Stateway, um, Robert Taylor's, Idell Gardens in the Hunters. I used to be all over the place. Right. You ever heard of Cold Black? Cold Black? I believe I have, yeah. True that, true that. Now, you were speaking earlier about a situation you were telling me about. You know, you was talking about uh, one of the brothers uh, or about the shorties, you know, being misled or misguided by, you know, I guess some individuals. Can you break that down for me? What you, what were you talking about? What do you mean by that? Well, what I was saying, um, some of the OGs hit me up, uh, you know, some still in the low, some are corporate now um but they're basically telling me the same story um that the shorties are being misled not all of